Hello and welcome to Hallow's How to Pray series, where we will walk through, step by step, how to pray and draw closer to God. Today we'll learn how to pray the Rosary together. The Rosary is a set of scriptural prayers in which we meditate on the saving mysteries of Jesus' life, death and resurrection. When we pray the Rosary, we seek to grow closer to Christ. We contemplate Him through the eyes of Mary, His mother, who shows us how to know and love Him more deeply. Praying the Rosary can help us find peace, dedicate intentional time to God, and strengthen our relationship with Him. In the early 13th century, St. Dominic preached the gospel to combat a prominent heresy, and he founded a community of preachers to carry out this work. Despite their efforts, the heresy continued to reappear, so he called on Jesus and the Blessed Virgin Mary to guide him. According to popular tradition, Mary appeared to him and gave him the devotion of the rosary, encouraging him to share the prayer with others. More likely, however, the historical origin of the rosary lies in the monastic practice of reciting all 150 psalms each week, a practice which expanded into the repetition of Hail Marys. Whether the rosary originated with St. Dominic or not, the Church has fervently promoted this devotion, and it is a beloved prayer among Catholic Christians around the world. People often pray with rosary beads. However, they are not required for praying the devotion. They help us keep track of the prayers and can aid us towards deeper meditation on the sacred mysteries of Christ's life. If you don't have a rosary, you can follow along by counting with your fingers. Consider also praying with the Halo app where you can find thousands of guided prayers, including the traditional daily rosary, scriptural rosary, Latin Rosary, and more. Now let's begin. Starting with the sign of the cross, we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Next, hold the crucifix and pray the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. On the first bead, pray an Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. On each of the next three beads, pray a Hail Mary, asking God to grant us an increase of the virtues of faith, hope, and love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. 
On the next bead, pray a glory be, giving all glory to God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Each of the next five sections of the Rosary is known as a decade. For each decade, we announce the mystery of Jesus' life that we're contemplating. Then we pray an Our Father, ten Hail Marys, a Glory Be, and the Fatima Prayer. We'll start with the first decade. On the large bead, announce the mystery. There are four sets of mysteries, which highlight significant moments in Jesus' life, joyful, sorrowful, luminous, and glorious. We enter into one set of these mysteries at a time, and traditionally pray them on specific days of the week, as follows. For example, if today is Monday, we would announce the first joyful mystery, which is the Annunciation, when, in Luke chapter 2, the angel of the Lord appears to Mary and announces she is to be the mother of Jesus. After announcing the first mystery, pray an Our Father. Afterwards, say a Hail Mary on each of the next ten small beads while continuing to meditate on the mystery. At the end of the decade, say the Glory Be. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Then say the Fatima prayer. This prayer was given by Mary to three children in 1917 when she appeared to them in Fatima, Portugal. In it, we ask Jesus for mercy upon all souls. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Amen. We repeat this pattern for the remaining decades. Announce the mystery, Our Father, Ten Hail Marys, Glory Be, O my Jesus, the Fatima Prayer. After five decades, conclude with the Hail Holy Queen, a hymn dating back to the 11th and 12th centuries in which we place all our prayers in Mary's hands to be offered to her Son, Jesus. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To Thee do we cry, poor banished children. To Thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, Thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of Thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. We'll close with the final prayer. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech Thee that while meditating on these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. As with all prayers, we end up by making the sign of the cross as we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This concludes the Rosary. Thank you for learning how to pray with us. Praying the full rosary step by step usually lasts between 15 to 25 minutes depending on your pace. But remember, if you only have a few minutes to pray, 
You can always simply say one decade, an hour father, ten Hail Marys, and a glory be. The rosary is a prayer for everyone and can be prayed at any time. Don't be discouraged if these steps are difficult to follow at first. Learning this prayer takes time. If it helps, pray along with us in the Hallow app or find people with whom you can pray together. Whether you have been praying the rosary for many years or are giving it a try for the first time, leave us a comment below and let us know what your experience is like praying the rosary. Thank you for praying with us. If you found peace in this session, please like, subscribe, and share to help spread the word. Download the Hallow app to get over 1,000 guided prayers and meditations, now with a 30-day extended free trial with the link in the description. We look forward to praying with you again soon. Let peace be with you.